Prepared, yes. Scared, yes. Nobody ever wants to have to draw their weapon. My wife and I had just got done eating. We were sitting outside and Eli had just pulled up in his car. I heard somebody come yelling down the sidewalk. I heard a loud tang and uh, just as I turned around, the suspect had put his hand on Eli's window and had that knife raised up like this and just it looked like he was gonna just thrust that knife down into Eli's neck. As soon as I saw the knife in his hand and, and coming up, I was, I was jumping over the fence at that point and that's when I drew my concealed carry and then that's when Eli and myself were able to take him to the ground. I was able to reholster my weapon at that time, get control of the knife and throw it away. I believe that Eli would have been killed. This is the first time I've ever, ever unholstered my, my weapon in a public place. Being a concealed carry holder, if, if I draw my weapon, I'm responsible for anything when I fire. You do everything that, that, that you need to do to make sure that you're disciplined enough to be able to effectively carry a concealed weapon. You know, you get all the people who are, are wanting gun-free zones and, and saying that, you know, nobody should be allowed to carry a concealed weapon in public. I look at situations like this. There were people that were in here that did not believe in people being able to carry concealed. But after they saw what happened Thursday night, they changed their mind. I, I, will, I will always carry a concealed weapon. Um, it's one of those things I don't want to use it. Like I said, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And it will always be that way.